Okay, so welcome to our little tutorial here on creating a scatter plot. Today we're just going to recap uh, what we did in class today. Um, all the students went around and measured each other, and uh, we, we just kind of randomly selected eight students, and uh, we chose to do a height versus arm span scatter plot. So you'll see to uh, the top here, um, I'll just grab the magic pen, you'll notice that we have our data right here. So those are eight students, all of their arm spans and heights in centimeters. Uh, a few th quick things I'll just make a uh, note of for those who missed class. The title of a scatter plot always starts with y versus the x variable. So right away that tells us since the x, vari the x axis is the horizontal, this is going to be arm span and the y is going to be height. So I'll just kind of toss this in here as well. It's not a bad idea if you want to put your units in there as well. I know I didn't do that down here with the uh, arm span. So where we're going to start is taking a look in the table. Notice in the table, typically the x variable comes first. That's the independent and the y variable comes second. So you'll notice in the x column, our uh, lowest, I think we had a I think we had a typo here. I think this is 141 and this is 157. So um, I think that was copied incorrectly when we look at the heights. Uh, so let's take a, a quick peek here. We know our lowest looks like 140 centimeters in the arm span column and the highest looks like about 185. So you can see that uh, right here and here. We'll just use the highlighter a little bit there. So when I start this thing off, it doesn't really make sense to start at zero because we don't need any values until about 141. So we're going to put a jump in the graph, so that's kind of like this little lightning bolt, and we'll start at about 140. And since we have to make it up to about 185, it looks like uh, 140, 50, 60, 70. It looks like going up by fives. I'm just going to skip every other. So you'll notice here it was 140, then 145. Here's 150, 155, 160, 165, 170. And 190. We'll even go all the way to 200 allow us to make some predictions. Notice how we're going up by tens each time. Um, whatever you choose as your scale, you must stay consistent to that. Um, when we look in the height column, you can see the lowest, um, once again, is 140. And the highest looks like 179. So it looks like we're probably going to be using a, a similar scale. So we'll do once again, we're going to do another jump here, and we'll start at 140 and go up by fives. I'm only indicating every 10, though. And here we go. All the way up to 200 centimeters. We can even toss a title down there as well. This is height. versus arm span. So we're going to quickly plot these points here. We're already at four minutes, so I'm going to quickly do that. Um, just want to show you for a couple quick examples here. Um, when we're going to plot, notice we, we do take the first value. So in this case, 185 is our x. So we're going to go all the way along to 185 and then all the way up to 179. And then we're going to put a point there. All right, so here we go. Here's my first point right there. So that takes off that set of coordinates. 168, 168. So let's go ahead and quickly do this. 168 all the way up to 168. So we're right about here. Just going to thicken, thicken up my pen here a little bit. Give us better points to work with. Uh, 141, comma 140, so that's about right there. 157, comma 150, 
about right there. 176, comma 178. Okay, and it doesn't have to be exact. You're doing your best. 168, comma 167. Looks like you already had a point similar. 160, or sorry, 176, comma 161. About there, and 162, comma 168. Oops, sorry, 158. So let's back that up. 168. And that looks pretty good there. You'll see that we do have a pattern. I'm just going to get these green lines out of here because uh, those are not necessary. I was just trying to indicate that we always go right and left, then up and down. But you'll notice we do have a trend, and when we have a trend, we like to show that trend using a line of best fit. So you're going to grab the line tool, and you're going to try to get the line that works best. Notice here, more points are under, more points are over. You want to try to get right in the middle of the majority, and everyone's is going to be a little bit different, but this helps us make some predictions. It says, describe the relationship between the variables. In this case, I'd be comfortable saying that this, because it's rising to the right, we would say that this is a positive trend since the, both, both the x and the y values are increasing. And because the points are very close to the line, I would call this a strong linear correlation. And that, my friends, is a scatter plot. Um, if you have any other questions, obviously come in to see me during lunch, uh, before school, after school here. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And remember, we always have all kinds of, we have all kinds of resources on the course website. So check that out at tapintoteamminds.com. Uh, drop me a line if you need any help. And uh, there you have it, your first scatter plot. Pretty easy stuff and uh, we'll take it from here tomorrow. See you later.